So basically, you know, this is the smoke eater, the uh, bar overhead, so that's in those lights exact right right over the I bar. I got gotcha. you. Um, these are over here on the dining room. Yeah. On the cocktail. You know, so it's basically mostly labeled. It's the only way that you will uh, actually know where, where it is. Right, because it's all in like one centralized yeah. spot. So. You know, in the night, you want to just set the mood. You can always adjust, you know. According to like the TVs or you know stuff like that, you can always adjust the lighting. So I will always go with the difference. And then like there's a bunch of other stuff. We have like some strip lights, which are now they switched over to green for our show this weekend, except for that upstage one. Here. Oh, wow. And then there's like, this wash across the pit that we use for class. This is the light board. Yeah. Uh, since they can both control some of these same things, it's like highest level takes precedence. Someone built a house, we did a couple of theater systems in the house, we did a full automation system, we did a lighting system, we did whole house music, um, and at our labor rate of $120 an hour, we spent about eighty thousand dollars worth of labor on that job, so uh, it can get, you know, it can get, it can get very, very complicated. Uh, there's a lot of engineering involved. We have to make sure that all of our systems are talking to each other in the right way, um, and uh, so it's it's not just something that you can really just plug and play.